Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the next edition of Typhoon's Partner Spotlight webinar series. Uh, today, we are very excited to have some very good longtime friends that um, just we have always valued our partnership with. They are an incredible um, group of folks to work with, and that is our friends from Cook Security Group. So we're gonna give everybody about two minutes here to get logged in, get their audio set and tested, and then we will be back to kick things off. So give us two minutes and we'll be back. All right, welcome back to another edition of Typhoon's Partner Spotlight webinar series. Um, again, we are super excited to introduce some good friends of ours from Cook Security Group. But before we get started, just one quick thing of note. So with GoToWebinar, uh, all attendees are in listen only mode. So if you have any questions throughout the presentation, we just ask that you use the little question bubble with the question mark to type in your questions. At the end of the webinar, we will pop back in and I will read all the questions aloud. And that way they can be answered there at the end and present for the recording. So if you have any questions, please pop them up in the chat window. Um, but with that, I'd like to introduce our good friend Scott Bieber from Cook Security Group. Um, Scott, I know we only have 30 minutes for you today, which is probably a killer for you guys because I know Cook has about you know 3,012 amazing products that credit unions can take advantage of. So uh, pretty excited to hear you talk a little bit about what you guys are doing with your new conveyance platform. So thank you for joining us. I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, and thanks for letting us have a few minutes on the spot on the spotlight. I think you know our partnership with Typhoon has been something that we feel like when we first started this conversation a few years ago is Typhoon embodies what CSG holds most dear, and that's just that culture, right, of customers that can really rely on you, count on you, um, and, you know, feel like they can be open and really partner with you on things. And so um, we thoroughly enjoy our partnership with Typhoon, and this webinar, I think, is um, an emblem of that partnership, being able to talk openly and kind of share our ideas. Some of them are just maybe things that we're thinking of versus, you know, some products and solutions that customers are taking advantage of today. and um, when we talk about conveyance, that's one of those things that I feel like is it's got so much more potential than where it's even at today. I think, but even what it's doing today, that's um, solving a lot of really critical business problems for a lot of our our customers. And hopefully, those that are on the phone here today too can maybe hopefully um, see that that value too that everyone else in the marketplace is seeing. Um, so I'll kind of give a quick little history lesson. When we launched conveyance, it was a little over a year ago, and it was it's honestly been a long time coming too, as, as we've been in the space for over 18 years now working with financial institutions. And one of our main goals is within CSG is to do everything with a little bit of a twist, right? Since we oftentimes resell a lot of companies technology, we got to find a way obviously within the marketplace to add a little bit of a twist to that so that we make sure we're adding value, but there's also sometimes things come along where there's just solutions in the marketplace that are either inadequate or they're missing the boat or they're not qu quite tailored uniquely to the community FI space or to the to the FI space specifically. And so when we look at things as a company, we kind of make sure that strategically it fits in our in our wheelhouse, but also that makes sure that we have something that we can provide 
that truly adds value to to what our customers are looking for. And when we talk about conveyance, that's exactly what that is, right? It's something that um, it when we found with check imaging, especially, is there was just a broken process. It was a broken system. It was very expensive for a lot of customers, and we're trying to find a way that we can really just kind of break into this space to really help provide a better solution, a more cost-effective solution, but something that also works um, more in tandem with what they have going on in the back end. So within everything that CSG does, like I said, it's kind of expanding upon other manufacturer solutions, and in some cases, eliminating those manufacturer solutions to try to find a better, more a not proprietary, unhandcuffed type feel and approach to what we do as a company. Um, so jumping into conveyance is starting to solve one problem, and that's what we call platform creep. And this graphic you may have seen, you may have written something like this within your own institution. Um, and the funny thing is, is how fast as technology is devolving today, with all the fintechs that are popping up out there, all the new solutions that are coming about, especially even within COVID-19, just recently, just all the different ideas and things that people are kind of scrambling to kind of adapt to this new normal that we're we're trying to adjust to, we can be very quickly find ourselves in a in a in a nest here or in a web of of point to point connections that limit and inhibit the ability to innovate and to grow, especially digitally. Um, and so, one thing that we love with Typhoon is being able to openly collaborate together on on these solutions. So our goal here is when customers approach us saying, "Hey, I want to bring on a new." you know, mobile banking provider or a new ATM provider or an ITM or a branch or RDC solution or whatever it is, really any new game changing technology, oftentimes you kind of get that sigh of saying, oh my gosh, I'd love to, but if we replace this one solution, you know, here, for example, it breaks 15 other connections everywhere else. And it, the burden that it puts on institutions is just so great that then sometimes choose just to just say, you know what, we better just pass on the opportunity. Even though we know it's a better solution for us, we can't afford the unraveling mess that it's created. So our goal here is to not add to that mess, but also as we go over time to hopefully remove a lot of these lines as conveyance continues to grow into the solution that we inevitably want it to become. And so today I'll kind of talk through what it is today, what it does for our customers, as well as where we expect it to go here in the next few months and even years as it continues to mature as a product. Um, so like I said, conveyance is mainly around check imaging. And when you look at check imaging today, it's 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 what I would say prototypical of what we call with that platform creep, right? Standardized, what we thought initially would be a very streamlined process. All of a sudden, over the last 20 years, since X937 files have come about since 2001, is you have all these similar platforms but they're now you have multiple servers doing similar things and it's not accomplishing the goal we want it to be so a good example would be a customer installs an atm and then to do that to, make, to be able to send the check images from the atm to the fed for processing it requires you to put a server in place to generate the x937 file it then requires you to have another system in place to review and repair those check images and then you have to have another system in place sometimes to actually do the item processing and actually send those checks to then send to the Fed for processing. Then come along these new technology, right, called ITMs, and everyone gets excited about them. They want to deploy ITMs, but lo and behold, the different manufacturers, a different platform, and the current X937 file generation tool you have just doesn't support that because it does it in a slightly different way. Next thing we know, we blink, and now we've got another server in place to do a similar process that the ATM is doing, but now it's two systems duplicating efforts and duplicating manpower on the back end for our employee, for our, for our customers, for their employees. Then you start adding on all the new channels that come about, right? Then you got mobile and you have to deposit a check through your mobile device and that gets sent through another X937 generation tool. Talk about RDC for your commercial accounts, talk about branch or teller capture. The list goes on and on. And I feel like as technology continues to advance, this number of options over here on the left-hand side is only gonna get bigger and bigger on where we start to see deposits being made. Um, but the funny thing I think that's happening is now we've got all these different servers. You can count them sometimes six, seven, eight different servers that are all very redundant. And we go back to that platform creep image I showed you earlier. That's how we get to that mess that we're in. So our goal when we talked about conveyance was how can we start simplifying this to where it's easier for our customers to manage, but we can also then start looking at what's also missing in a point-to-point -point world where you no longer have the sharing of data. And 
you know, credit unions and banks alike, in my opinion, have so much data on their customers and members, but they're so uh, it's you're, it's hard to leverage and utilize that data because the systems don't talk together. So if we can start, at least within the check imaging world today, start here and gathering all that information to where no matter where the deposits had, had on the channel, it can become consolidated in one simple platform where you can now start cross-referencing and sharing that data and monetizing that as you go forward. So given that we have grown up for a long time in the ATM and ITM space and mobile and RDC and even some branch capture spaces is somewhat newer to CSG, we figured we would start in the ATM and ITM space and find a single solution that would work for our customers. Um, and so where it looks today within conveyance is no matter the ATM or the ITM, manufacturer right we can put our same remote view client that everyone's known and, and loves and has been vetted within the bank's it infrastructure leveraging that existing technology on the terminal or the endpoint setting it to one simple consolidated server um, that could then send that onto your item processor for processing as opposed to having two different platforms a good example would be you have a lot of customers that maybe have a dbold atm or an ncr atm or a heosung atm and then they want to maybe switch those vendors into a new platform or they want to have a mixed fleet in place. Oftentimes you have to have two different servers and two different applications to manage just the ATM side. Within the beauty between conveyances, we don't care what vendor you have, it's vendor agnostic because remote view can then be installed on any one of those terminals. So we can hopefully at this point, no matter what kind of backend system you have or what type of channel you have, those deposits being made, conveyance can now take those and, and streamline that for you so our hope is as it sits today with conveyance is we can at least eliminate sometimes two even three different servers and and software licenses and and uh, maintenance that you're paying multiple vendors and companies to consolidate that down to one we know as things can continue to move forward that vendor management is is an issue keeping control on cost is an issue anytime you have redundant servers and redundant software you're paying multiple software maintenance licenses you're paying multiple you know, perpetual licenses when you buy software and things. Um, and not to mention the overburdening of our IT departments as they get bigger and bigger into the scheme of keeping you operational. They can't afford to be managing multiple systems, especially ones that seem to be redundant. So in our opinion, as it sits today with conveyance, whether it's an ATM or an ITM or both, <clears throat> having a single platform to process any check images that are being done is a possibility and we can do that today and have several customers taking advantage of that today as we speak so we're really excited about where conveyance has come in just less than even a year to really compete with a lot of the other solutions that are out in the marketplace today uh, and the fun thing about this more than anything is since it's a homegrown csg product is we're not licensing it from any other third-party manufacturer so we have complete control over the pricing to really make sure that it's not um, a prohibiting factor in getting customers to sign up for this we can completely control that that barrier to entry and we've seen a lot of customers take advantage of that where some of the solutions on the marketplace are almost inhibitive you know in that sense of, of them wanting to get into other technology here this can just be a simple add-on cloud type service which really allows them to easily get moving forward from that perspective so again, I, I, if I was, if anyone's on the call here, as far as filling out that piece is this, maybe this isn't necessarily game changing. The fact that we've got conveyance on ATMs and ITMs, I would say the fact that it's vendor agnostic is pretty cool and very unique to what we do. But I feel like that's more or less table stakes as it is today. We understand that we had to kind of start somewhere before we can get to our end goal. And so understanding going back to this initial problem of where check imaging is today, our main goal is to really start eliminating all these different servers and platforms that are that are coming about so one thing that we're looking through here is if you start to look at where check imaging might be going tomorrow is looking at all these different platforms to where deposit could be taken um, and processing that all through our cloud server again we could care less just like we care less on whether it's a dbold or an ncr heels on atm or an itm we're gonna take that same mentality when it comes to other channels like a mobile like RDC, like Branch, or Teller, or again, as more technology pops up, this will allow us to continue to adapt and evolve to that. Because truly when check imaging came about with a standard X937 file, it should have been standardized, but for some reason over time, it got very unstandard for some reason. And now that kind of resulted in what a lot of our customers are dealing with today with those multiple servers processing similar, similar functions. Within our conveyance cloud application, you're able to do that. But better than anything, though, is we're actually able to then bring that user experience into our command center that a lot of our 
our CSG customers take advantage of on a daily basis. And that's truly where, in my opinion, all the data starts coming together, right? I talked about having those point to point connections limiting and, and inhibiting the ability for the ability to share that information across channels. Um, so I want to kind of share one cool example of what could absolutely happen. Once we get all this into the command center, you can now start tying in all that data that comes along with those check images. One thing that I absolutely sympathize with a lot of our customers employees is the limited amount of data they have to go off of when they are doing a review or repair of a check. Um, oftentimes they just have the, the image of it, nothing else. They just have maybe the account number and they have to make a judgment call that, hey, I'm gonna send this check through even though it could be fraudulent or it could be bad or it could be, you know, have non-sufficient funds or what have you. Um, when we start adding in conveyance and putting this into the cloud within our command center, we can now start tying other data points that we have uh, within our ecosystem to help that, that, that employee have more information to go off of. So a good example would be if a member or a customer walks up to an ATM and does a deposit, um, you now could have the tie in the video footage of that date of that deposit at the ATM, tie that to the check image along with the transaction information. So now when I pull up that check that got flagged for me to review in my item repair process, uh, I can now see all the information and say, hey, you know what, that is Scott Bieber at the ATM. I recognize that because I'm pulling up the you know corresponding ID of the driver's license, for example. Um, and now I can also see that, that that correlates to transactions and history, and maybe tie that back to the core and do some more information. But um, part of what we're really, I guess, passionate about at CSG is is understanding both the experiences, not just the member or customer experience, but also your employee experience. Because oftentimes, you know, a lot of the fintechs that have come about, they they have one goal in mind, and that's making a smooth, consistent, easy consumer experience. But oftentimes it comes at the expense of your employees. And so our goal here is to also keep the employees in mind and say that, okay, no matter what technology might come about, we've got to make sure that it's scalable and easy for your employees to, to manage and to, and to avoid risk. Um, as that comes about. So there's a lot of possibilities when it comes to this. Like I said, as you get this information all into a single platform, as you can update that. The other piece that I just absolutely love about where we're going with conveyance is it truly is a serverless cloud application. So just like you know all these Typhoon users that you guys have with a mobile app, right? You wake up in the morning and you have new features and enhancements. A lot of things that we're doing and seeing just within our daily lives, whether it's a mobile app on any on, on your device, whether it's other applications you have, like with maybe Microsoft or other companies that are out there, is you don't have to pay for these updates. You don't have to schedule server downtime. You don't have to schedule all these, these cumbersome updates. With conveyance truly in the cloud, this allows the maintenance and the management of the application to be that much more easy. We've seen a lot of customers recently that keep getting hit with large you know, professional services engagements, large software application charges, software and server maintenance fees. And we just don't believe in that because we don't love that either when you know the vendors that we buy from within CSG handcuff us and tie us to those large agreements. We've never been a fan of that within CSG. And so conveyance just truly staking to our roots as a company and keeping our customers happy, but also making sure that they're gonna have a solution that's gonna be predictable long-term when it comes to their expenses. So. All in all, I think you know there's a lot of work there to be doing. We understand this is a huge industry that can be disrupted, um, but our hope is if we can take what we see today as a broken issue, right, of multiple servers and multiple user, user interfaces and platforms, just to do something as simple as process a check image, at the end of the day, it shouldn't be that complex, but it is. Our goal is to really take this to the next level to where it doesn't matter what channel you're being deposited on, you can leverage the same system and review and repair that all within our command center before you send it off to the Fed for processing. Um, so all in all, I think you know that's where we're going within CSG, within conveyance. So we know there's a lot of demand and, and excitement around this. I get super excited about it too, and just looking at the possibilities that are really around this. Um, we recently just hosted a um, user group of all of our customers that have, were more the early adopters of conveyance within the first year of its inception. And the feedback was just fantastic that we got from all these customers on where they would just like to see it, where they're seeing pain points. And so this is absolutely not something that we just feel like within Cook Security Group is something that we feel the market is needing. Um, thanks to, you know, we're so lucky to have so many good partners and customers um, with us that really are open to sharing that feedback. And, and we love that because now we can develop it exactly to what those needs are as opposed to guessing and hoping that we're right. Um, 
So Josh, I think that's pretty much what I've got to share today as far as where conveyance is, where it's going, and really what we feel like are the pain points within the, the industry today. Um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and maybe pause to see if there's maybe some questions out there that um, are being asked either in the chat or anyone wants to unmute and, and ask a question. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. I know that was a super quick run through of a lot of different things. Um, a lot of uh, just as a quick reminder, so uh, everybody is in listen-only mode in GoToWebinar, so questions do need to be asked via the chat. So if you have any questions, please type them into the chat. I'll read them out loud. So um, the first one that um, <clears throat> that kind of came through was, you know, talk to us a little bit, Scott, about. So let's say you're you're not a CSG customer today. Where do you get started? Yeah, no, that's a fantastic question. And I think a lot of what we're trying to do, especially with our newer customers, is start at the basics, right? And the fun thing that we've developed within Remote View is the fact that that's a vendor agnostic and almost a platform agnostic tool where a lot of customers use that Remote View agent on surveillance boxes, on ATMs, on alarm panels, uh, access control systems, you name it, right? And so getting a remote view installed on any of those devices is kind of the first step. Uh, and from there, it really allows you to kind of get moving forward to kind of getting everything within CSG's ecosystem. Um, and as you can see, like I think on this slide that I showed here, right? This would be a good example of um, where you've got remote view on surveillance as well as on an ATM. And all that ties back into our command center. Uh, again, that's, that's that kind of that data collection point. So for those of you that are not familiar with remote view, it's really an agent that we've developed in-house that allows us to gather that data and also connect systems together to allow for that data and information to be to be usable. Um, so anyone that's kind of looking, gosh, like, hey, I love this, Scott. Where do we start? Step number one absolutely would be let's get Remote View installed on your endpoints. And the cool thing about that is it doesn't matter, you know, if you have current agreements in place with other vendors or if you have other systems in place, <clears throat> this can be installed without in disrupting anything you currently have going on. Even if you just want to try it out and pilot it, you could throw it on without really much more than just a, a few minutes um, a visit at whatever endpoint you want to put it on there. And then from there, we can kind of figure out what do you want the agent to do for you, right? Do you want to send check images? Do you want to be used for diagnosing your, your equipment? Do you want to use it for, for data transmission, what have you? Um, so I think that's the fun part about how, just how we developed remote view and the fact that you kind of get that base framework in place, that foundation for more of the processes. And, and the systems, and then this truly allows you to then dictate your experience going forward of how you want that agent to work for you. Awesome, thanks, Scott. And I think, so we have kind of a follow-up question to that. So what does it look like to convert from maybe some of the current ecosystems that a, a credit union may have in place to getting into the CSG ecosystem? Yeah, I'll probably talk through specifically on the check imaging side. But I mean, there's, again, keeping in mind that there's a lot of other things you can do to kind of get into that. And I think the fun thing about the ecosystem is that it's, it's what you make it, right? It can be very small and tiny. And it can be like a little mini ant farm, if you will, right? All the way to be a full on fledged rainforest, if you're really kind of thinking, I guess, playing on the word ecosystem, I guess. But um, the fun thing about, I think, with conveyance is we know that everyone has a system in place today, right? It's, it's very rare now where you have institutions that don't have check imaging enabled at the ATM or on mobile or RDC or branch or what have you. Um, so we've developed it from the very beginning to know that that's going to be the need. So part of it is being able to make sure that we're priced appropriately. But the other piece is just to make it an easy transition. <clears throat> so the, like I said, that's the fun thing about remote view is it can be installed concurrently with whatever you have going on today. And that allows you to not disrupt your current business, but also try this out and make sure it's something you want to go. So when you actually make that switch over, it's it's transparent to not only your employees, but also to your customers. Thanks, Scott. So I'm going to, I might actually butcher this person's question a little bit, so I apologize in advance, but I'm going to kind of add a bit a little bit um, with just some of the, the thoughts that I have as well. So the question is really around, um, you know, especially given the new challenges that we're facing with COVID and, you know, just changes to the physical branches, um, you know, how is Cook really stepping in to help with that? So, you know, I know you guys do a lot with digitizing 
physical things within branches, right? So I guess their question is just, what are the different things that you guys are doing specifically around conveyance to make it easier for credit unions to um, you know, manage some of those more in-person type interactions done digitally, remotely, and automated? Okay. Um... There's a lot to that, but I'll try my best here to kind of answer yeah, sorry, that. Yeah, that's think. about it. Loaded of a question I think we could have ever gotten. So, <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Um, so the the struggle that we all had, right, once COVID hit, was now we can't get into branches, we can't reach out and touch equipment physically with technicians and things like we were normally used to. And I think that just speaks power to how important it was to have some sort of remote tools like we have with Remote View and conveyance, right, to where some customers reached out to us and said, "Hey, we were." processing checks manually on a daily basis where we'd walk out to the ATM, grab the deposits out, run them through branch capture and send them off to the Fed for processing. With conveyance coming into the fold here, you can literally automate and digitize that to your point through and through, right? So that there's no need for employees to even have to touch the ATM anymore, short of even, our, you know, you can even contract a, a third party like a Loomis or a Guard or a Brinks or someone to come and grab those checks because all you really need those checks for now is just retaining. You don't need the images. You don't need to scan them because it's already been done through the conveyance application. The other cool thing about that too is remote view, right? We can now remotely log in and go with it. So a lot of customers that had remote view on their ATMs, for example, mainly for diagnostics or for windows patching or for security reasons, right? But they wanted to then move forward with conveyance. We could do the entire setup without literally anyone moving away from their computer. So our professional services team is able to log in, configure, you know, since we're with remote, we already allowed us to log in, configure the conveyance, um, you know, IP tunnels and everything else that we need to set up the conveyance um, instance for them. And literally, like I said, within, um, within hours, have it all up and running for them without really ever having to, you know, come on site or do anything physically or locally at the institution, which is really huge in my opinion. Um, and we've been doing a lot of things lately. If you guys have been on our website, we have what we're calling a crisis hub, where it's kind of showing all the latest and greatest technologies that either we've come out with or trends that we've been seeing since COVID hit. You know, whether it's for, you know, UV light cabinets or helping them with ideas of how they can reopen their branch with digital platforms. And I think that's the fun thing about this is, you know, a lot of customers that were reluctant to use digital platforms beforehand because the branch was always there that came to a screeching halt when all those branch doors came closing and now they're forced to use digital channels that they were more reluctant to use beforehand. And now that I think that we're seeing the branches reopen, it's so fun to talk to all these different institutions because the, everyone has a different plan, but a lot of them even have plans to never open back up again, other than for appointments only, but leverage technology like Typhones and like conveyance and other technologies that are out there to support what has always been available, but just people are more reluctant to adopt to. Um, so I'm personally excited to see where conveyance is going to continue to play, where Typhoon is continuing to play, and how we're going to be able to continue to marry those up with our co-development efforts on things. But to see truly the future of the branches that I think we've all been expecting, but I never really quite saw that change happen. Um, now we're going to be able to see that really accelerated and see people start to adopt to that in the, in the branches and really kind of see branches more as a solution center than transaction hubs and things like they kind of were for a long time. Yeah, I would wholeheartedly agree to that. And I think you know, this is where, um, you know, as you mentioned in the opening, we see a really big benefit in working with companies like Cook Security Group, right? Companies that really and truly care about the level of partnership and commitment that they have with their customers and really talking through the solutions that make sense for them, not just today, but tomorrow and um, you know, having an open dialogue about how do we better service you and your members. And so well, you know, we really yeah. appreciate that approach that you guys take. And it's huge too, because I feel like the more these companies try to do it all on their own, it's really doing a disservice for all these, all the FIs out there, right? Because now you have to be, you're, you're stuck to that proprietary, you know, their way or the highway type of thing. I think what Typhoon embodies more than anything, and that's the same, like I said, culture and mindset that CSG has too, is we know that, hey, there's stuff that's outside of our wheelhouse and it's not in our best efforts to go and develop that or to buy that company or do whatever to make it all within our within our logo, right? There's reasons why people are in the niche that they're at because they're better at it, right? But the more companies like you know Typhoon and CSG and others start to collaborate and work together, 
that's where the magic happens for all the community FIs, where other companies try to do it all on their own behind closed doors. They try, but they feel like they can continue to fail on that. Um, so it's truly awesome, the, the, the partnership that we have, um, but also just, I think when you see the end game and the end user experience, when that all kind of comes together, when you put best of breeds together, it just is this amazing connection that happens. So we're excited for the future with you guys. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Well, um, you know, we really appreciate you guys taking 30 minutes out of your day to present. Um, and thank you to everyone who joined us. As a reminder, this webinar will be hosted on the Typhoon website. It can be downloaded at any time or um, just simply viewed um, whenever you've got a free minute. So feel free to share around. Um, just one last parting thought. So Scott, I know, as I mentioned at the opening, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you guys do and a lot of different ways that you help support FIs, not just from, you know, a, product standpoint, but from a services standpoint. So I know we're right at the end of time, but I do want to just have you take maybe uh, 30 seconds to give a, a very high level, uh, good old sales elevator pitch of, you know, if an FI is looking for certain things, you know, what are the things that they should look to Cook Security Group for? Yeah, I think you mentioned at the very beginning, it's impossible to do it in 30 seconds. Um, one of the best suggestion I would say is to go to our website, cooksecuritygroup.com there we have a cool infographic that's actually in in interactive where you can kind of see all that csg does but csg at, at the crux of it we are a service company right we love to anything that's happening either within the fi space or even in commercial um, and data center space too csg is able to take whatever equipment and whatever choices those customers choose because we, we really do appreciate and, and respect their right to choose their technology we're there to support you with it furthermore though we're there to also to integrate to it so we can then take you know standard systems and really enhance them through integrating other third-party applications together to make magic happen in my opinion like I, like we showed earlier with 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 remote view and with conveyance and sur surveillance and things like that is taking those standard solutions out of the box solutions that a lot of people have installed putting a little bit of a twist into it that csg likes to do to really tailor that to their needs, to their consumers and to their employees is really kind of where we put our personal stamp on everything is we almost say, no matter what you buy, even if some stuff that's resold from us, you can't buy it anywhere else because of that unique stamp that we put on it and that twist that we like to put on things. We really like to be outside of the box, right? There's a lot of companies that think inside the box and stay in there. Um, a good example, right, is Blockbuster. They stayed inside that box for a long time Netflix came to them saying, hey, partner with us on this. They said, no, thank you, threw a VHS at them in the boardroom and they walked away. Now we see where Netflix is sitting, right? They are the Goliath and they are the future of, of media and Blockbuster is no longer here. We understand the value of staying outside, partnering, thinking outside the box, never being satisfied because we know that's what our customers always have. They, they're never satisfied, so we're not going to be satisfied either. Um, so hopefully that's sufficient. There's a lot to, to say there. Like I said, if there's any questions, please reach out to me directly. Um, I'll make sure everyone has my information. We'd love to spend just a, even an hour with you and your executive team to talk through truly all that Cook Security Group can do because there's there's a lot we can help with. Thanks, Scott. So just as a reminder, if you do have any questions, um, if you're a current Typhoon customer, obviously please feel free to reach out to your account management team or any of us here on the sales team. We're happy to fill you in on just how we work together with Cook Security Group. Um, if you're not a current Typhoon customer, uh, or if you are, either way, you're also more than welcome to reach out, as Scott said, directly to the group there, Cook Security Group. They're uh, a great bunch of people. We really appreciate the time. The partnership. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for having us.